And today we're going to talk about the antler platter and the uh, couple things that you need for the antler platter is two uh, either two right or two left antlers so they're not going to be a matching set not unless you get really good and I don't know how that works um, one of the things that I'm looking for with these is antlers that don't have any brow tines on them these guys did have brow tines on them and you can see that I cut them off with a sawzall okay it doesn't show anyways and these need to chase one another so these are actually two left-handed antlers on the deer so um, what I want to do is first off I want to connect them I've got a hot glue gun I've got my trusty drill here and this is a quarter inch drill bit you notice on here that it's got a nib on it that's a pilot point bit that I use anything similar <clears throat> will work and um, I try to use when you're looking for materials I try to use a 12 volt or used to be able to get a 9 volt uh, drill and the reason for that is is because it's lighter when you get to a 16 volt that's too heavy for my hand so that's my deal so I've got my bit I've got my drill I've got my hot glue gun working on it here and um, I try to, to uh, work on top of something so that I'm not, especially if you get a nice table, uh, mine seems better days, but you don't want to scuff the top of it if you if you slip with a drill. So if you, now I, I've done this quite a few times, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but for you, what I would do is take a Sharpie pen and um, I would mark on here about where I want to drill. So I want to get as close to that butt end as I can. Now. When I drill, what I want to do is I want to start uh, at a 90 degree angle to the antler. Isn't that cool? It's got a light. And I'm going to make sure that my bit is tight. That always helps. 90 degree angle to it. And um, there's some kind of novelties there. So I've got to kind of work with that a little bit till I get the crust broke. Now, what I want is I want this to go this way on the, on the antler because I want that uh, piece of reed that I'm going to put in there to lay flat against this antler. Well, the only way to do that then is, uh, is to turn that drill upside down so I can start drilling this way on it. So I turn it upside down once I got it, got a hole for it. And I need at least about an inch and that might work so and the other place I'm going to put it is up here and more than likely these two are going to uh, meet in the middle and that's fine okay now I don't know if you can see this because usually I'm at the tail end of it okay all right so that does mean when they they uh connect and these two did um, that when you put hot glue in it if you got one side in what it'll do is it'll seal the other end so before you can stick the other end in you got to take your drill and drill out that glue and then you can put the other one in or put more glue in and then stick the end in we'll get there okay so there's one done let's do the other one now like I said I know where I'm going but I would tell you guys to Use that sharpie just so you get a visual. So I got the cross broke and I'm going to turn it upside down. Okay. And then I'm going to come up here and usually, like I said, I'm off the, the side of the table. Alright, so I got my four sets of antler holes drilled. And then what I want to do is I want to connect them. So I'm going to take my number eight. Now when I put this in here, if I can't bend that over, see how that pops, then that's not going to work for me. It's either the, the reed's bad, and if I can take that reed and just pop it like that, I don't want to work with that. That'll be something to start the fire with. So let's grab another piece. So it, it helps just to take it for a minute and push on it. If it doesn't bust, then that's the piece you want. Okay, so... I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to pull that over. And what's going to happen is these are going to connect. 
because it's going to be on this side, and that's going to be on that side, and this is going to go like this. So I'm going to cut that here. See how that's made a nice bend in there? That's what you want. I'm going to add a nice bend without breaking and without cracking. So I'm going to stick that back in here. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking at the layout. So that goes in the inside of the antler into the butt end of the second antler. And then this one, of course, does the opposite. This one connects to the butt end here and goes into the inside of the antler on this one. So I'm just looking to make sure I haven't gotten this thing too big. So you, the more, more you do on it, the more you get to weave. So that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, and it's pretty even across from one another. Remember, these are handles. So um, I am going to go ahead and glue these, and then I'll show you what happens next on the hoop part.